Hi, this is Alexis from the Kite Border Magazine. I'm here at ION with Ben, the safety man. Safety indeed. Welcome, everybody. This is a great lineup that you've got here at ION. Let's talk about some of the products. All right, so for the 2017 season, we have a couple of new harnesses we're introducing and a bunch of um, the same ones we've had for many seasons, but a little bit of updates with them. Um, well, let's start walking through them. Okay, cool. So this year we have the Hummer, but it's gonna be the Craig Cunningham Signature Series. So you say it hums? The, it, it hums so well. You know, it's gonna be a freestyle harness that's very flexible, has a low base in the back, so it fits really well into the pocket, and it's just gonna be a harness that is um, free moving, you know, allows a lot of movement and flexibility. The second one we have that's gonna be the Signature Series is gonna be the Colleen Carroll Soul. Same sort of concept as the Hummer. It's going to be very flexible, very small back plate. Yeah, which is going to uh, it just allows freedom of movement, you know. It's just allowing every, um, basically for freestyle tricks, especially women that have a small torso, this is going to be the harness for them. So this is a woman specific harness? I would definitely say yes. Okay, so I can't wear it? Ah, uh, you could definitely wear it. I it try would, to pull it off. It would look amazing on you, by uh, the way. Uh, you know, it's all about the features. Yep. So this year as well, we're introducing a composite surf harness, which when I'm saying composite surf harness, we're going to have a carbon backplate in it. And it's going to be able, to, it's basically dedicated to the full-on surfer. And what this entitles is like, yet again, a small backplate that allows very little um, uh, back well, pressure. Back pressure and also just doesn't give you too much um, uh, back. So so what it basically does, you're trying to say, is that it load disperses the weight. Yes, load disperses the weight. It doesn't allow the harness to pinch and like grab your hips too well. And, and, and suck that uh, your, your ribs in. Yep, exactly. And also we're introducing this harness with a rope spreader bar. So no hook spreader bar is what we would call it. This year we're also having two ropes, so it just allows you to have more resistance to it being wo uh, worn too quickly. Now, can they get replacements? Let's say it wears out. Can yep. they get replacements? They can get replacements instantly, and it's very easy to replace. Basically, you undo one knot, uh, just pretty much pull it through the uh, eye holes there, and you just replace it with another um, spot of uh, nylon rope. So this would be the new harness that we have for the 2017 season that we're super excited about. The next lineup that we have going on here for ION would be the Vertex, which has been in the line for the last couple of years. This would be the surf dedicated harness, which has nylon on the inside only, so it allows the harness to shift from side to side. Yet again, a bit flexible in the back, not mainly focused in support. It's more for freedom of movement and also allowing this harness to move around your torso when you're trying to go toe side or riding down the line with a wave. The, the, um, uh, the next harness that we're looking at is going to be the Apex which would be this one right here. The Apex is going to be the brother of the Vertex. The main difference is, is that this has dual density foam on the inside. So instead of allowing the harness to slide, it grips more and stays in one spot. There's a bit stiffer back plate in it too, so it's more supportive. It has the same sort of outline as the Vertex, but yet again more support, and it stays stationary on your body instead of sliding from side to side. So those would be the base models. What we always have with ION as well is we have the select models, which are the higher and more focused on comfort and just um, usability. And with these harnesses for the last two years, we've introduced a new system, what we call WireTech. And with WireTech, it's what it, the whole gimmick behind it is the buckles on the side where you hook to your spreader bar they are going to be connected to eight strands of Dyneema going through the back of your harness from buckle to buckle. And as I said, the buckles are free floating. They're not stitched into the harness sides. So when you tighten this harness onto your body, it's going to apply the load evenly along those eight strands of Dyneema, giving you a really unique envelopment when you tighten down the harness. The other main thing is that these buckles are metal with small, thin webbing. So when you're trying to adjust it, it's very easy to adjust and also push down and loosen up. The other extra addition for the Ape or the Select harnesses is we have memory foam encompassing the back where the lumbar support is and also the hips. So when you do tighten that harness around you, this harness is gonna be incredibly comfortable for the longer period of time you're on the water. 
So it's going to start molding to your contours of your body? Yes, it will. The, I mean, every harness you have to break in, but with these ones uniquely, they become unique to your body style. As so the more you ride it, folks, the more it contours to your unique body. Yeah, that is true. And then also, we have D-rings on the select model. So in case you're using short leashes, which is what everybody's kind of trending to, you have the ability to hook your leash right there instead of going to the back where the handle pass leash connection is. And what model is that? This would be the Vertex Select. So surfer harness, but the select version. Okay. And if you were going to want a more supportive harness, you would go for the Apex Select. So yet again, the higher end version. The only main difference is a lot stiffer back for more support. And also you have a bit of the dual density foam here which allows you to keep the harness stationary instead of allowing it to slide from side to side. Yes, two different styles of riding. I would say twin tippers would love this one. Surfers would definitely love the, the Vertex Select. Okay. And that would, I mean, pretty much that's the whole lineup we have this year for the harnesses. Okay, well let's move on to the booties and okay. all the rest of the line. So I mean, uh, yet again, with the 2017 season, we have all these new Neo uh, accessories, which are gonna be a whole lineup of booties, depending on where you're at, how thick and cold uh, you want the water to be, all the booties will accommodate whatever temperatures and whatever kind of rocks and reef you're walking over. Um, the newer lineup as well is we have these amazing helmets. I don't know if you've seen it on my head, but these things have a man magnetic buckle here that when you put it on, it just clips right in, pretty much hands-free almost. The other best part about it is that very thin memory foam on the inside that does not retain water. It's very soft and the harness stays incredibly light while wet. You also have these ear adapters here, so in case you're really charging it, you don't have to worry about getting surfer's ear. I'm going to put this back on because it's really comfortable. you got to be safe here at Surf Expo. You never know. You always have to be safe, especially around these guys. Okay, let's so, go work through the rest of the line. Let's go here. around this way. A new introduction this year as well is we have Neo pants, what we call the Muse pants for the women, and also um, the women's um, leggings, which are going to be nylon. I don't know. I mean, you would look amazing in these things. You know, I try, I'm try. i trying. I'm losing weight. <laughs> the other addition we have, besides the rash guards, is we are we have this new leash developed and it has a 316 stainless steel lanyard on it. So this lanyard is basically, um, we, we put this onto our leashes because those ones, for the people who are charging hard, these do not open and make you lose your kite. So when I go rock climbing, I can also use it also, huh? You know, yes, <laughs> I would definitely say so. We have it in a variety of sizes too. This is the medium. We have a super long one. Oh yeah, I like the super much long one. It your ankles while you're riding. I can jump rope with that thing. That, exactly. And you have the super shorty right over here as well. So now, going from the rash guards, we're going to the Neo jackets. This year as well, we have all the jackets. So in case you're really cold on the beach, the women love the cozy coat right here. Basically, it goes down below the butt of the women. So in case you're sitting down in a wet area, this is gonna keep you dry and warm while you're sitting down. For the men, we have the ability to have a cruise jacket which does not come with the hoodie option in case you don't want that hoodie flapping around behind you. And then right behind here, we have the Neo hoodie as well, which you do have the version that has the hoodie in case it's really cold. Wait a minute, wait a minute, folks. You missed a key feature here. For those guys that get cold on the water, you can put your spreader bar on it. So you get out of the water, you're freezing cold, you throw this thing on, you can put your hook right through it, two different slots for two different sizes, and go back right out again. That is right. I mean, we have some models here that are dedicated for the people that want to be riding while wearing it, or you can just wear the one that keeps you warm on the beach. It has the ability to have a hook go through it, but generally speaking, the Neo, the Cozy Coat, and the Shelter Jacket here are a bit heavier and they're more meant to keep you warm while you're waiting for your next session. Whereas the Neo Hoodie and the Neo Hoodie Light, which is a very thin neoprene, would be the ones I would choose while riding, to tell you the truth, just because it's not bulky at all. So going from the Neo accessories, we're gonna go back over here to the wetsuits. So with the suits here, we have two different models. We have what we call the Onyx right here, which is gonna be the chest zip. And we have the Strike, which is gonna be the back zip. The main thing to focus on with these two suits is 
One, ease of getting into. Some people like the back zip just to get in easy. Some people like the front zip because it's more flexible and allows you to just have freedom of movement. The other feature of these two suits is the chest zip is orientated to the person who wants to have a crossover wetsuit. A really killer wetsuit for surfing and a really killer wetsuit for kiteboarding. So dual purpose. Dual purpose, exactly. The cut on this wetsuit is going to be thinner as well. So if you're a skinny guy, I would highly recommend going for the Onyx chest zip. If you're a bigger windsurfer or a kiter, just a wind sport enthusiast, that you have the upper body, you have the bigger upper body build, a strike is going to be able to fit your body more accordingly than a Onyx would. So between the two, back zip and chest zip, we have three different levels of performance. This right here for the Onyx is going to be the performance level one, which basically means that it's a great price point. It does the job very well. But if you want a higher end suit that is more flexible, what you're going to go for is called the amp level. And the amp level is going to be, oh, sorry guys. Should have organized this seats before this. There we go. The amp level for the Strike or the Onyx is going to be the one focus on freedom of movement and flexibility. Main reason why is that we have this technology called the Ninja Knee. The Ninja Knee, you can see there's a specific strand of neoprene here that's thinner than the rest that allows when you're bending your knee, it allows freedom of movement and flexibility. They're both on both kneecaps and also you have the ninja spine which is the same sort of feature but on the back so it's especially if you're in a thick suit like a 5-4 this makes a massive difference when you're bending over or you're just trying in general to ride so you don't get tired while you're riding because no. it's stretching exactly I mean wh whoever if you've ever paddled a surfboard wearing a thick suit you'll know instantly the difference of using a thinner strand of neoprene compared to a thicker one and that's kind of the idea that we're having behind this model of suit the other bonus about this suit is that it has pat crash pads in the rib area in case you're charging it hard and also it has crash pads in the shins which once I put this suit on I didn't know this feature was even I didn't even know this thing existed once I put the suit on and I saw this riding my skimboard or surfboard where I consistently hit my shins this made a massive difference I, well I also noticed you got drainage valves right here yep. so let's talk about that so with the drainage valves especially for the strike which is the back zip is when you're riding along on your twin tip or surfboard there's a tendency that you have water spewing up into your suit making you have balloon legs ion has the drainage holes here so when the water does go up there it drains instantly out and doesn't allow you to basically get heavier while you're riding i also noticed that you got these little things on here let's talk about these things what are these called so these things are going to be um the seat, what we would call the seals and also this rubber strand here doesn't allow your suit to rip so in case you're putting your heels in aggressively this right here helps the neoprene not stretch out and rip in, ha in half when you're basically putting on the suit because both this part here and the neck is the most susceptible parts of ripping because it just stretches too much and that's where the where the wear comes the fastest so that yet again the strike amp or the Onyx amp would be the suit for maximum flexibility. Now what we're going to be going to is what we call the select harnesses or select wetsuits. The select wetsuits, the whole deal about this is warmth. We have the amp which focuses on flexibility. We have the select here which focuses on being and keeping you warm. Main differences between these two suits is that we have the wind skin for this here which allows zero penetration from cold wind. The other one, the main difference is on the inside, we have what we call the plasma plush, which is going to use your core body temperature to keep you warm, basically like a thermos. Once it heats up and once your body is heated up, this is going to keep you warm. Second feature as well is we have fluid seam welding along the top and the bottom of the suit. With that, in addition, to make sure you keep extra dry, we have the Mackey tape on the inside, which allows zero penetration through any seam you get from the suit. The other unique thing from the ion suits is we have a very unique cut here. The unique cut allows us to eliminate the amount of panels we have on a suit. And what that pretty much breaks down into is the less panels you have on a suit, the more flexible it is and the less susceptible it is to tearing or ungluing from a certain panel. But yet again, um, the ion 
Onyx Select or Strike Select, the highest end suit, is focused on warmth. So our next product is going to be the vest. And this is going to be what we call the Ivy Vest for the women. This is helping you have, um, it allows you to have better flotation in the water in case you need it, and also impact resistance. What we have is just basically standard vest. All right, I, can, I, I can't handle this. So when he's on your right, the product yeah, has to be, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. it's his fault, not yours. Good, because I was totally messing up that on was, that one. Yeah, that was on it. Okay. <laughs> so our next product is going to be... So our next product is going to be the impact vest and also buoyancy aid, as we would call them. When you're out in the water, if you need buoyancy aid or more flotation, you would love to have one of these. Easy entrance with the front zip. The, all the foam is focused on the top. There's no foam right here where your harness would be going. As well, this one is focused directly onto the women, but I mean, in case you're charging in the park or you just need extra flotation, I would highly recommend one of the Ion Buoyancy A uh, Impact Vest range. We have here, we have the travel bag accessories. So in case you're traveling to a special destination to go kiteboard or you just want to keep your gear in one certain spot, we have the Ion Golf Bags. This, come in, this comes in two sizes, which would be, would be the 2.4 or the 1.3. And what that pretty much means is that 2.4 means two boards, four kites. 1.3, one, one board, three kites has golf in there, which allows you to kind of haggle with the airlines and try and get in there for free, saying it's golf equipment. We have also the North Bag lineup. There's the Ion Core gear bag, which is gonna be a lighter version, and less, it has less amount of padding than the Golf Tech bag. And the one on the bottom here is gonna be the Kite Wake bag. So this one allows people who ride park and who kite to be able to put all their accessories and boards and kites into one single bag. And pretty much that would be it for the 2017 ION lineup. Now we've talked about a lot, a lot of products. Yep. And I know we didn't go into a lot of specifics, although you tried. I uh, tried. You tried, he tried. Where can they find more info on all the products here today? Well, if you ever need more info on any products, please go to ionproducts.com and you'll be able to find all the information and all our products on the web. Well, thank you so much, Ben. You're very welcome. Thank you.